guys, how's it going? Eli here back with another video where today we're going to be having a conversation about the Sword and Shield Charizard Ultra Premium Collection as prices have finally started to come down on it. Is now the time to buy? Should you wait off? And of course, how has my opinion changed on overall investing in it now that prices are starting to come to reality? Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. As always, getting out of the way, we have our weekly giveaways. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed, leave a like, and comment down below on any of the pre-recorded videos we post each and every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Of course, since you can comment to like on each video, that allows you for multiple entries, and we have three winners each and every week, so you also have multiple opportunities to win. But now let's jump into it with today's topic. So as mentioned, we've recently seen a price decrease in the overall value of the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Charizards. And you can see that it was originally at its highest point of 305 on TCG Player, and now we're seeing it roughly at around the 203 price point on here. We can also see as well that the cheapest prices that are currently available on eBay are at around $180. That is a drastic price decrease. Like I'm talking about massive from what we originally saw it for at its highest point. So people are probably wondering what caused this rapid drop. Well, there are, of course, a lot of factors at play here. But I would say the most recent drop, as discussed, of course, on my live stream yesterday, as well as within our Discord channel, there was a drop at the Pokemon Center website for the Charizard boxes. And it was up and active for roughly two hours. Yes, of course, it wasn't actively going fully through to be able to add it to check out for two hours. It was going in and out for you to be able to add it to cart. But for that two hour period, you should have at least had an opportunity to add it at some point to your cart for purchase. I had many people actually have the opposite problem where they over purchased it within the discord from what it seems. And so people are trying to actually get rid of it because they have so much of it available. I know, of course, for some people that sounds like a dream to have that as a bad case scenario, but it seems to be it's going to be a reality, hopefully for a lot of people in the near future. Now, as mentioned before in some of my other videos, a lot of people, of course, have always asked me, what did I think the best price point to get in at was? I had, of course, said once it gets down to that 160, 180 range, I felt as if it was going to be a good opportunity to get in at. I might actually be changing my opinion on that as I think there is a probable possibility that the price of this product could actually go down to 140, 160. So I don't think 180 is necessarily the best pickup anymore as prices for this product have gone down so much just because of how much is readily available. Of course, when I had first discussed about this, this was the expectation that we were only going to be having one wave. We now know that we're going to be having two waves for this product. This is, of course, as well with the expectation that uh, with Celebration's Ultra Premium Collection, it was obviously $100 higher from its highest point compared to this product, which was had a high point of $300. CUPC was roughly around $400. So you had to take that, of course, into consideration with a grain of salt. And then once again, of course, Celebration Ultra Premium Collections, I had roughly around eight allocated to me. And for this, I had roughly around 40 allocated to me. So my allocations were about five times the amount what I had originally been allocated for the CUPCs. So it's something that um, we've seen just a rapid, rapid um, you know, increase in supply for this specific product. As mentioned in my other videos as well before, I think this is of course because this is not specifically tied to a specialty set like the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection is. And that roughly of course is going to allow this Charizard UPC to be able to have a lot more flexibility in terms of how much is going to be readily printed. Now, why of course do I expect it to go down outside of the fact that we're going to have a second print? Well, just historically speaking, let's look at some charts. So for those of you guys that just historically remember what happened to the CUPC, it was a product that was roughly released on November the 17th. Celebrations itself was released on the 8th, but this was a product that came out shortly after its official release date. As we can of course see on November the 17th, the lead up to it, the prices dropped around $50. And then of course, within the next month, going into the next year, you saw the price drop roughly around another $80. So from its overall high, 
you saw a drop of, I would say around $150 which is a decent drop um, to say the least. And that's of course the initial lead up from the month of October, right after the set of course of celebrations was released roughly two weeks after, and then going into the start of next year where it eventually did start to climb back up again. I think you could see something like that happened for the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, very similar chart where we're starting to see, of course, a decline in the overall value before its initial release. Obviously, we saw two weeks leading up to it. Once again, the 17th was the release date. You saw it peak out roughly three weeks before, and then two weeks is when it started its decline. And then, of course, about, like I said before, a month after is when it continued its decline to find its bottom. I think you could potentially see that exact same thing happen as we are currently two weeks away and the decline it's not even like it's just started. I mean, it's been on the decline for a while here, but it's even more drastic than we thought in terms of the overall just general decrease that we're seeing. And that of course is attributed to overall access to the product and supply. So I personally believe 140 and 160 is gonna be my new preferred price point for picking these up at. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you could find it um, you know, at the closer to the 140 price point or even lower than that. I know that was something that we originally thought was a pipe dream and we never thought we were going to be able to access this product close to MSRP. But considering the fact that we're expecting that huge drop as the lead up to the date gets closer and closer and the supply is just going to keep going up, that's something that no longer surprises me as we're no longer $100 away from 140 or $80 away from 160 we're now $20 away or $40 away. So we're just getting closer and closer to that price point. And as we've seen historically, lead ups and after the fact of new releases, of course, uh, tend to follow um, with price um, drops. The only instances in which you will see it be the other way around with price increases, with Evolving Skies, for example, with Brilliant Stars, for example, is when, site, or when the product itself has been undervalued quite drastically. Of course, Evolving Skies, for you guys that remember, it was pre-order priced at 110, 115, billing start roughly around the same price, which was a complete undervaluing in the market, and you saw it climb, 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 climb. There's a reason why I think Silver Tempest is gonna be a set that's gonna do really well, because I think it's one of those undervalued product that could do something like that. Of course, there's no guarantee, I'm not a financial advisor, but I believe that there is a possibility of something like that happening as we've seen historically with these high demand sets like Brilliant Star and Evolving Skies where they're very much so undervalued. However, Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, extremely overvalued and that's why I believe you could potentially see the exact same thing happen historically as it did with the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. So I would have to say really be patient on this one really try and of course not FOMO into the price point of 180 right now if you of course want to just be able to pick up one because you're like hey Eli this was one of your old price points on what you thought was a really good pickup I still want to just at least get one then I'm not going to fault you for that because it totally makes sense but I'm telling you once we get to the official release date I believe these products are going to be a lot more readily available why of course is there a huge factor in when it comes to the price drops um, when it comes to the overall pre-sale prices that are listed on places like TCG Player, for example, only LGSs have access to make pre-sales for specific items. Of course, when it comes to the official release date for a product, however, pre-sales are no longer a thing, then everyone has access to it. And by everyone, I mean the people that went on to the Pokemon Center website, the people that bought from me and other online retailers, the people that went into their local Walmart and Target and found it, and then ended up, of course, buying it and then putting it on TCG to flip and sell. And so the overall increase in the seller pool drastically, drastically goes up. And that in turn increases the overall supply of that product being sold which in turn, in theory, should drop the price drastically as it has always done so historically speaking. So I would like to say in terms of when you could see that price drop find it near bottom, it's honestly something that could potentially happen not until early next year or 
going, you know, I would say into February, early next year, uh, maybe as soon as January, who knows? But considering that we're expecting a second wave of this coming in December, I haven't got my allocation numbers for that, but we can talk about that later in the future. But considering there's a second wave, that has me to believe that we're not anywhere near our price bottom because we're gonna see it hit its release date, prices are gonna drop, continue to drop, and then another wave's gonna happen, it's just gonna get absolutely slaughtered then. So this product is going to be a really good opportunity, I think, in the near future as a long-term investment. I mean, this is an item, obviously, I had said that I was a huge fan of if it was at a right price point for investing, but I had said that it was extremely overvalued and you had other opportunities um, once it dropped down. But if I'm being completely honest, guys, I would have never imagined in a world where we could see this potentially be super close to MSRP. For those of you guys that don't know, MSRP is 120. So if you're saying 140, $20 above MSRP, that's a great price to be able to mass pick this up. And if you're able to mass pick this up at 120, because you know online retailers are selling it for 120 in bundles, or you know your local Walmart has a ton of them, and there aren't a ton of scalpers in your area, whatever it, that may look like. I think that could be absolutely massive for you to play that game long term when picking up this product or of course if you just want to be a collector and you want to be able to pick one up at 120 and save yourself some money i mean that would be absolutely awesome to see something like that for people to gain access to that so of course like i mentioned before earlier in the video a lot of people within our discord and within our of course uh, community for the live streams have already had access to that 120 price point. So I really am talking to those who haven't had the opportunity to be able to get it for so cheap. So really be on the lookout for the price and don't panic. Now is not the time to panic buy because as prices drop, you don't wanna be catching a falling knife. You want to be the one that's able to just wait, be patient, and once you see that it's kind of sideline bottom for a little bit, then that's when you're going to just jump on it and get in for a really good price. So I would honestly say that in terms of where this stands for one of my top investment pickups, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next month or two, this is going to be one of my top investment pickups. Um, if not my number one investment pickup, I would say, um, going into the year of 2023, um, with the expectation, of course, that the price will hopefully drop down uh, roughly around another 20 to $40, which, I mean, that's not far. That is not a far drop to make. And we've seen it go, uh, we've seen other products where I expected very minimal drops to go in a completely different direction than I've expected with it dropping even more. So, and of course, being in a recessionary period where money's tight, inflation's at an all-time high, and you're just seeing people spend less, um, I, I think that you could see this be a really great opportunity, not to mention too, as we've seen historically speaking, Pokemon Company loves to do massive prints for everything all at once. So who's to say we don't see just a bunch of booster box reprints also happen at roughly around the same time, which then causes people to tie up a lot of their um, you know, liquidity or spending money and going and getting booster box reprints or ETB reprints or just in general other product reprint. Obviously, um, Celebration's product has been readily available for purchase on Walmart for the past week now. I talked about it in a video a week ago. It is still available for purchase. I'm having people message me uh, directly about it saying, hey, still received it. I'm continuously going to keep ordering it. Thanks for the shout out. Um, so I want to, of course, actively plug that as well. If you're still wanting to get cheap celebrations, packs, and product um, that's still available on Walmart's website or in your stores locally. Um, and so I don't see why not um, that we could see some more product um, just either get a reprint around the same exact time or you could just see some product show up at your local Walmart or your local Target that you would have never expected to see it readily available on the shelves once again. So um, as always, patience is key on this one. I think this is gonna be a really good pickup long-term pretty soon here, and I'm really excited to see the prices of this continue to drop as a lot of people are gonna have an amazing opportunity, I think, to be able to enter in this product at a much cheaper price than a lot of us were expecting. 
Um, but as far as it goes, that is all for today's video. As always, if you want to enter into our weekly giveaways, all you have to do is leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We post pre-recorded content each and every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for you to comment and like on. And as always, since you can comment and like in each video, that allows you for multiple opportunities to enter, and then three winners each and every week, multiple opportunities to win. But that is all for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Until then, I will see you guys on Monday. Peace.